tell the story of Streetlight Manifesto, you have to start with the story of Catch-22. Catch-22 gained their popularity almost immediately after their 1998 release, Keesby Nights. The band consisted of Ryan Eldred, Kevin Gunther, Jamie Egan, Chris Gear, Josh Ansley, and leading them all, Thomas Kalnicki. He wrote all the lyrics and music, sang, and played guitar. After a short tour, Thomas left the band to continue his education. Jamie and Josh also left at this time. The band seemed to be falling apart. Luckily, Ryan, Kevin, and Chris found new members and continued Catch-22. However, in losing their lead vocalist and songwriter, they shifted from the sound that made them so popular. On their next release, Kevin wrote Hard to Impress, a song with biting lyrics about their former frontman. In 2002, Josh, Jamie, and Thomas joined up with Stuart Kramitz, Pete Siblia, and Dan Ross, ex-members of One Cool Guy, and released a demo for their new band, Streetlight Manifesto. Near the same time, members of Streetlight joined with several other brass, string, and woodwind instruments to form the non-touring Bandits of the Acoustic Revolution, or BOTAR. Demand for BOTAR's five-track CD, A Call to Arms, was so high, all five songs were made available for free on the band's website, AcousticBandits.com. Streetlight's debut release, Everything Goes Numb, was released in 2003 to rave reviews of not only the music, but the words as well. Among the lyrics of A Moment of Violence, you can find Thomas's reply to Hard to Impress. Now everybody's laughing cause they're thinking they're in on something I don't get. Don't forget, I connect and I read every word you said. Like a child who believes he was wrong. You hate me so much that I'm singing my songs. Three Light Manifesto toured almost non-stop from August 2003 until November 2005. On March 7th, 2006, Streetlight released Keys Me Nights as played by Streetlight Manifesto, a song-for-song re-recording of Catch-22's 1998 release. The CD was one month off from being released on exactly the 8th anniversary of its original. When asked about the motivations for re-recording the songs, Thomas replied that he wanted to prevent the re-release without changing the content, and that he always thought the original was poorly recorded. He also added, it's going to piss a lot of people off, and in the end, that's all that matters.